English Expressions for Thoughts and Beliefs In our final round of Speaking September, let's try to use these seven English expressions related to thoughts and beliefs. Try to answer the questions by speaking and using the new phrase. Number 1. Contrary to popular belief Use this phrase to introduce a fact that is different from what most people believe. For example, Contrary to popular belief, it's not actually necessary to drink eight glasses of water a day. Now, you say something that is true but different from general opinion using the phrase contrary to popular belief. Number 2. It boggles my mind. If something boggles your mind, it means it is really amazing and overwhelming. Depending on how it is used, it can also mean confusing. Another way to express this is to say something is mind-boggling. For example, when I think about the fact that three million people have visited my website, it boggles my mind. This means I find it amazing. There's a mind-boggling number of different programs and prices. I have no idea what to choose. In this context, mind-boggling means confusing. Now it's your turn. Say one thing that boggles your mind. Number 3. It's anyone's guess. When you say it's anyone's guess, that means nobody knows for sure. It's impossible to know or predict with certainty. For example, the trains here are pretty unreliable. Whether or not the next one will be on time is anyone's guess. Say one thing that is anyone's guess. Number 4. Speak your mind. To speak your mind means to say honestly what you really think, without changing or modifying your words to be more socially acceptable. If you speak your mind, you are direct and honest, even if it might upset people. For example, if you want an honest opinion, ask John. He's not afraid to speak his mind. Do you think it's good or bad always to speak your mind? Are there any situations when you have done this? Number 5. Resign yourself to. To resign yourself to something means to reluctantly accept and tolerate it, even though you don't want to. This expression is often followed by the ing form or by the fact that. For example, it was raining, so we resigned ourselves to playing card games all afternoon. I eventually resigned myself to the fact that my father was never going to change. Now, talk about a time you had to resign yourself to something. Number 6. Lost in thought. Being lost in thought means you are thinking deeply or concentrating strongly on something, and as a result you are not very aware of what's going on around you. For example, I asked her a question, but she was lost in thought and didn't reply right away. The last time you were lost in thought, what were you thinking about? Number 7. In hindsight and in retrospect. Use these phrases when you are looking back at something in the past and considering that situation with the knowledge and perspective you have now. You can use in hindsight and in retrospect both to wish you'd done things differently and to confirm that something was good. For example, in retrospect, quitting my job was the best decision I ever made. In this case, I'm confirming that a past action was good. In hindsight, I should have listened to her advice. 
In this sentence, I'm wishing a past action had been different. Now it's your turn to put these expressions into practice. Use in hindsight and in retrospect to reflect on two things in your past. Make sure to check out September's special offer, the Everyday English Speaking Course from Espresso English, plus a hundred quick conversation lessons from Ello.org. You can get all 145 lessons for just $45 in September. But on October 1st, the price of this combination product will go up to 75 So don't miss out on the chance to get 145 lessons for a special price.